Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from the topic atoms basing on the Bohr's atomic model. Let us read out the problem first. The problem says, an electron is in the third excited state. What are the number of the spectral lines possible and they are in which region? That's the problem, right? So, electron is in the third excited state. That means N2 equal to 4 because third excited state is nothing but the fourth principal quantum number. And so, if you draw the diagram, you can say N2 equal to 4. So, there the electron is. So, this is n equal to 3, n equal to 2, n equal to 1. So, there are of course orbits above it. Now, electron is jumping from the fourth orbit to where it can jump while it is releasing energy. The electron from the fourth orbit can jump into third orbit. The electron from the fourth orbit can also jump into the second orbit. The electron from the fourth orbit can also jump into the first orbit. They are the, this is the possible uh, uh, spectral lines. There are three spectral lines possible in that. Again, if electron is at the maximum in the fourth excited state, I mean third excited state that is in the fourth orbit, it could be also in the third orbit in the other time. So, it can jump from third orbit to second orbit. It can also jump from third orbit to first orbit. There are two more spectral lines. It is also quite possible that the maximum, so we can say in the problem that electron is in the third excited state at the maximum. Suppose the electron is in the second excited state, it will jump from second orbit to first orbit. Now, all these orbits, it will limit energy. So, how many spectral lines available possible is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. That implies the number of possible spectral lines is equal to 6. You can say out of them, this 1, 2, 3, they are all falling into n equal to 1. As they are jumping into n equal to 1, they all fall in a kind of a series called something like a Lyman series. Therefore, out of 6, 3 are in jumping into the first orbit, that is they are jumping into the, they are called something like Lyman series. They are obviously in a ultraviolet region. The energy emitted in this case is small and the wavelength is uh, say uh, the corresponding wavelength comes into a kind of a ultraviolet region. Now we can also notice there are two spectral lines that are falling into n equal to 2. Two are falling in Balmer series. Obviously they are visible. This spectral lines could be possibly visible. There is one spectral line falling into n equal to 3. 1 is n equal to 3 means Lyman, Balmer and the passion series. And in that passion series, it is above the visible region that could be probably just in a infrared region. So, spectral lines are quite possible. We can probably also use a formula number of uh, spectral lines equal to maximum number of spectral lines as yes, n2 minus n1 n2 minus n1 plus 1 by 2. Here in this case maximum of n2 equal to 4 minimum of n1 equal to 1. So, substituting in the formula we can get number of spectral lines as 4 minus 1, 4 minus 1 plus 1 by 2, that is 3 into 4 by 2, that is 12 by 2, 6. Both of them gives the same answer. This is how we can solve the problem. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.